Ladies and gentlemen, oh. welcome to Friday Night Fight. My name's Nick, alongside my good friend and um, broadcast colleague Dave. And welcome to another edition of uh, GFW Fight, ladies and gentlemen. And Dave, what a show we have for you tonight. As you can see on the graphic here, we're starting things off with the Interstate Championship Tournament here tonight. The first round matches will of course to start to determine the bracket as we move forward but of course Dave look at this also this main event here as the graphic shows for the GFW undisputed championship the co-GFW champion dangerous man versus co-GFW champion devil <coughs> what the hell is going on here around these parts kind of like oh Wait, there's a man. big, there's a big match feel here tonight. Like the obviously the in, 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 interstate title tournament taking center stage tonight, but the main event, this match, Dangerous Man and Devil, both of them neck and neck, both of them GFW champion. Like I, I, I can't call this this match, Nick. I just, I'm, I'm just sitting all. I think, Dave, it's going to be absolutely amazing. I mean, we, we after Hard to Kill you know we didn't have a GFW champion you know as as we all know Dangerous Man and Devil you know drew in that main event and you know to be fair Dave Dangerous Man was actually I would say the best performer in that match you know even though they drew I think Devil just leveled things up with two minutes running to go on the clock yeah, and like... Dangerous Man went ahead twice if you remember well, Dangerous Man's twice. first pinfall was on Devil on the outside of the ring after the D Driver 2.0. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then it he pinned. Brutal. He pinned somebody else. Can't remember for the life of me. Like quite quick on when once Devil brought it up to one one. And then Devil right at the end snuck in a little. Um, a little um pinfall for victory that brought it all together yeah and Dangerous Man was so so dominant in that match and brutal as well and we have to quickly touch as well Dave on the fact that he I think we said live on air that he um, kind of put the GFW title ahead of his friendship with Nick Knight as well like, oh, <laughs> no well no, fuck <laughs> In his defence, uh, the, <laughs> the, 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 there was a moment where Nick Knight will jump Dangerous Man first. <laughs> so I think um, mm. once well, once the gloves came off between you know the tag champs, the best of friends, I think Dangerous Man just went, nope, <laughs> just hit <laughs> him with Dangerous Driver on the outside. It was kind of brutal. Yeah, finishers galore, you know, just a few minutes in. And Dave, that's one other thing. I mean, how are Dangerous Man and Devil tonight? How must they be feeling? Because when you look at the injury list that's just growing here in, on fight on Friday nights, you know, don't we already know that RV3, Jack Townsley, Vader, you know, they're all injured. But of course, Nick Nitro, add Nick Nitro to that list, you know, Tornado, uh, Infinity, taking a sabbatical as we heard on GFW.com and how much the demon and devil what shape are they in tonight is the question well you know we seen Nick Knight Roll and Tornado in action on the, on the Forsaken right after <laughs> uh, uh, right after Hard to Kill and we both could tell that they weren't performing at 100% like they wanted to perform, you know, Night Night Will got to go one on one with the Global Champion and the Global Champion the new Global Champions for first outing. And we were kind of surprised at the outcome. And oh, it was the same with it was the same with Tornado. Like I don't think I've seen Dave Tyson Dave Tyson's return to form since becoming T V champion for the fourteenth time. Yeah, I mean I you, you make a good point there, Dave. That's a valid, a valid case you're making there for Nick Knight and Tornado. I understand that they're injured, but you know, by the same token, 
we can't take anything away from the new global champion, the Burnley. You know, he's been so impressive since debuting, or returning rather, sorry. And Dave Tyson looked like he was on his game as well. Uh, recapturing the TV title for a record, is it 14th time? I think I've lost count, I've not got a fan, it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's 14, he's now two ahead of Tornado, who's sitting at 12. But yeah, no, you're right enough. I mean, I think when you've seen the amount of punishment that even McKnight and Torero took on Super Fight before he even had to kill, before all those moves on the concrete, I mean, when you're dropped on your head so many times, you know, it's, it is it's a concern. But like I say, Demon and Devil, Dave, they were also dropped on their head numerous times on the concrete. Yeah, Devil, so. uh, De Devil hit uh, the dangerous man with the... Um, Degree twice on the outside and one of the times up on the ramp. And if you remember as well, I mean, Dangerous Man Dave was also dropped on his head by Tornado. I think what looked like maybe a, what was a brutal crash landing. It was definitely a crash landing for Demon. But uh, doctors, I would think, would take that into consideration. The thing, the problem that Mr. O has, Dave, is I think Mr. O would want to delay this match. But with Battlefront upcoming in the next few weeks, we can't we can't really afford to delay it. The match has to take place tonight. Well, definitely, I think um, we need to have a solid singular GFW champion. This whole co-champion thing just puts so many things up in there, and I think both, both men want to bring this, you know, this ongoing family rivalry between themselves to a, a conclusion. Hopefully tonight. Dave, do you think, my, my question to you is, how would the title records work? Because obviously Infinity is classed as the first oh. ever GFW champion. Um, but does Demon and Devil share the uh, award of being co-second cool ever champions? Or do we just class the second ever champion as tonight? See, when person I, wins? How does that work? I, I, as you know, the historian that I am, I would be looking for an, a, a one, like, you know, one all out right champion, not co champions. Co champions are kind of, you know, like, for example, look back at the D WWF, for example, we had a moment where Kane and the Undertaker comes to go to Boston in a triple threat match. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that. And, well. became, and became co champions. So that didn't count into Kane's. Title reigns or the Undertakers. Ah, oh, I see. Right. Okay. Okay. So I, I, I'd wager on that merit alone that Dangerous Man and and the uh, Devil, even though they're both champions at the moment, until the end of tonight, we will have our yeah. second ever GFW champion. Which makes sense, Dave, in a way, because when you think about that, if you go by WWE logic. Uh, well, WWF, I think it was at the time. I think it's um, it makes sense because you know at the moment the GFW Championship is still to be contested. You know it's contested; it's not confirmed. We don't have uh, a championship holder or winner. We don't have a GFW champion, so that might ring true again here tonight. We might have to follow suit with that same logic. But the second ever GFW oh. champion will be crowned tonight, technically. And as this match kicks on here, Ace and has Guardian. Sorry folks, we've got a lot to, to get through here tonight. Oh yeah, first of four first first round round matches. Just, just the way you said, though, this is the first time that we've seen one of the pillars, Ace, in action for a while. Yeah, it has been a while actually, yeah. I think we've we been focusing on kind of other things lately. And you know, Hell's Guardian just kind of comes and goes as he pleases. Oh my god, look at the power! Oh, oh beauty drop! Oh no! Oh damn it! Oh, that was like a. What are you foundation maneuver? Foundation maneuver. No, 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 she has feet in there. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, now, Ace and. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, no, 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 Completely overpowering us here, oh! Oh, the hell, Hacker Beaver! <laughs> oh, Hacker Bone! Oh, hold on, oh. Hell's Guardian! 
Oh, an ace. He's got a shoulder up there. God damn it, ace. Ace, ace, ace is showing us why he is one of the four pillars of fight. Like, not a lot of people pick up their hell hacker fever rules. And that's it, Dave. We've got, um, you know, the pillars in action tonight. There's also, um, oh, here comes this now. You're never you're not gonna see anything like this, are you? Anywhere else. You still you just we talk about Phoenix being different, but Ace is uh, now he goes. Oh and again, beauty up there. Yeah, the power and oh, oh beautiful. You got that? That's golden! Oh! 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 oh that was a, that was a more of a deeper two count that time. The last one was like a one and a half. That one was almost three. Oh, the kiss of life! Out of nowhere! Oh! Hold on now! With the foundation to move on! Oh, shit, my right foot! Oh, and again! I almost knocked his mask out for that shot. Oh, and now there's blood tripping over the makeup here of Ace. Oh, oh that's a hard elbow there to the... Was that, was, was that the elbow or his horn? Oh, I think... Well, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> no pun intended. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's a oh. point of the elbow or the point of the horn. That is... What the question? Oh, Ace, right? Oh, what a good shot. Oh, mate. slap. Do not slap the big guy, I was just asking for it. Oh, oh, a receipt! Oh, oh four on! Here's Guardian now, trying to slow the pace here. Down to a giant size. Damn, yeah, I was going to say, I haven't ever seen Hell's Guardian do chain wrestling before. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he went away and landed the whole time like that. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh I don't know oh, what I'm thinking of that also. Well. Oh, slapping the shit out of Oh, hold on, I'm sorry, blood strike. Hold on, we're left. Oh, an ace now. Look at it, take a breather here. Oh, what a lie. Oh, God, what a match this is. The pace is quickening here. To the right in front of us. Indeed, he, he's got to get gonna, back in that ring. going to be three matches mm. away from getting a tail shot against Mr. 47 at Battlefront. Oh, no, it's a good drop. Oh, and he's got a mark. Dave, I think that's oh. the third time he's hit that old ring as he's going here now. Oh, he's going up top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the uh, foundation <laughs> drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy, again. Oh, there's a bad one here. Showing that he doesn't need to be a pillar. Can I? Knock him down, knock him down. Oh, what a cool line! And it's such a contrast in styles here as well, isn't it? These two, I mean... Oh, what a move! <laughs> what an F! I can't be all cut cools! You see you playing Tekken! Any Gordo, any Gordo! Oh my god, Aces! Oh, oh that blood there! That cut from that horn was a bad one. Is it not just that? Oh! Is he going for the 69 <laughs> <laughs> oh, The raw dog! <laughs> Come on, where are you? What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? I mean, I mean, <laughs> what is this? What a move! What? I don't even know what that's called! <laughs> Cross my heart and hope to move top eighties. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute now, how's Guardian? Oh, is he? Oh, ho 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 ho. Every time you think he helps is where he hits him in Marcus and Ace goes not. Yeah, Ace is uh oh, oh nice. B drop. Oh, it's going nowhere. Oh god and that's the first time. He's connected with that tonight. Is that going to be enough? Oh wow, and it is. Damn. Oh, crap. <laughs> Ace not to be denied here tonight. Ace will go now to the next week's semi-finals. 
<coughs> you can see Mr. 47 watching on Dave as the interstate champion mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And you see that chrome dome gleaming. Moving on here now to the second semi uh, quarter final of the evening, which Dave, this is going to be an interesting match up. This one, we're going to have next, we have the second of four quarter finals tonight. Connell will go one on one with the rookie Carlton. And <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I actually uh, don't know what's going to happen in this one either. Well, you see, I think um, the Enigma Connell, or should I say Stigma, um, is on a roll. I mean, not, you know, he did well in the chamber. He was in the chamber, right? Come on! Uh, he, yeah, yeah, he was, actually, yeah. He's been one of the most prominent pillars. But Carlton is on is on this roll. You know, Carlton knocked off GR Dallas, you know, to get here. He's been riding with RV3 since his return. You know, he's had a couple of grueling matches against Headhunter. But this could be Carlton's chance, you know, to break through the, 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 the proverbial glass ceiling and start to go towards championship gold here on fight. Well, yeah, you're right enough, Dave. I mean, this is Carlton's first sort of uh, chance at gold here, any chance at gold and you know he's going to want to make a, a statement here tonight but it's easier said than done trying to make a statement against the Enigma, that's the thing. Well, that's 100% true and the other thing is wrong, like I, I'd wager that if Dallas had won, you know, at least one of the encounters against Carlton, it would have been Dallas in this match instead of Carlton. Yeah, I think that that's. You know, just to kind of just, just to yeah. kind of just to kind of just to you know like look into the mind of Mister O. We, we we both kind of know what Mister O looks for. Every match, no matter how big, how small, you know, how long, how short, he's always analysing to see who should be pushed to the next level and he sees it in Carlton you know he sees it in the pillars that's why he's, he killed them the pillars but he sees it in Carlton and now this is Carlton champs I think that's the yeah that's a good point and I think Mr. O definitely um, you're right I think you know however big or small the occasion may be I think there's you know, whatever happens in, in your own match, I think it's definitely noted, you know, going forward, and I think Carlton has been impressive against uh, Dallas, I mean, Dallas is a, you know, seasoned uh, superstar here in GFW, and he's done well, I think, to earn himself a contract, I mean, nobody really gave him a chance, did they? And uh, he's proved... <coughs> that's it, you know, when, when Dallas did that, uh, you know, that open challenge thing where he was like, he took the person in the front row and it, it was Carlton, you know, at first we were both like, hmm, this is like unmatched, um, you know, Dallas being a veteran, former heavyweight champion, you know, he got feud of the year when he fought Gale. Like, 
and then to lose, you know, the way he has been against Carlton, it's just, it's monumental for Carlton's career. Yeah. It's, I think it's, you know, it's like you mentioned about the pillars, Dave, you know, I think he sees the pillars as, you know, being the sort of foundation for it. The benchmark, if you will, you know, on fight. But you know, the same can be said for if you defeat one of the pillars. You know that that kind of um, puts like an asterisk against against your name. You know, look at Mister Forty Seven. You know, it kind of you know puts you ahead of maybe other contenders. You know, well, yeah, the Forty Seven came back. He ran through the pillars like. There were skittles. Yeah, they were like bowling pins and they were just there to be knocked over. I think he only, he only fell to Ace in the end, but you know, he dominated Prince Ayakea, he actually outperformed Connell as well, if you remember. Again, and now we're from Mr. 47 is, you know, he's dominating. I mean, he dominated Shadow to the stage where Shadow, like, got carried away. Well, this is the thing, you know, look at the names, though, that he's beat in the last few months since returned. You know, the likes of Shadow, Vader, Phoenix. You know, Infinity when he was the global champion, uh, the GFW champion. Yeah, like, all, all, all the men that they really decided to make, they're all former heavyweight champions. Yeah. That's right, and you know, the likes of Paul Townsend, for example, you know, he's going to be going up, up, up against Nightmare uh, um, for the national title oh. at Battlefront O. Oh. And this is, the, this is where I think the contrast in styles again go, you know. This is why GFW is the best wrestling organisation on the planet at the moment, because we've just seen Ace against Hell's Guardian moments ago, and you've now got the high flying Connell. Unpredictable aerial attacks, you know, left, right, and centre against, you know, Carrotlin has quick feet, quick fists, boxing background, usually stays on the ground. And this is why each match in GFW Day, whether it's fight, forsaken, momentum, is just pure quality for that very reason. This is a good, this is a good segue, ladies and gentlemen, momentum this Saturday. Yeah, Upcoming, we've yeah. got fights, fight has, battlefront, oh. qualifying matches. Forsaken's bringing the, the, the contest of champions, the, the final of the King of the Mountain, and a massive tag team match. Join us tomorrow night for momentum. Yeah, Dave, that's going to be your special Forsaken side. I know it's a battle for the but Forsaken, there's a lot on the line there in terms of contest champions. You know, you've got the uh, King of the Mountain winner versus the King of the Mountain winner. I you mean, know, it's going to be a great event. Make sure to join us for it's tomorrow night. Oh, just the whole oh. thing to the cover. Connell now, I think, is having to pull out the big moves here against this young upstart here. And Dave, we've we've seen of Carrot, I mean, he's not going to just give up on you. But we've seen moments ago where Connell went for the, um, the Conton and crashed and done. Yeah, you see, so that's the thing, that's why they call it high risk, right? I mean, if you connect, <laughs> this then fine. it could win you the match, but if you miss it, you know, you're the the match. Everything on the line, yeah, exactly. Well, here we go, I've, right? seen, I've seen many a person who miss a big move off the top rope and it landed to someone else's finisher. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, they busted him wide open. And you've seen this against Headquarter Dave. That had to kill as well. Like, he, he, of course, came up short in that match against Headquarter, but he actually burst open. The big Samoan's head, and like you said uh, on air that night, that it's one of the hardest nuts to crack. A Samoan's head, well, it is. But he just went, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> and keep some half jugular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
of course RG3 not able to come to the right side tonight with a line of throw and draw and Connor now and there we go. Do, do, do. Oh, the, 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 the pillars are coming up strong tonight, Nick. We're okay. two for two so far. You know what that now means? That that sets up the semi-final for next week. Ace against Coral. Pillar versus pillar. We're going to see one of those pillars must fall. Mm -hmm. One of these men between Ace and Connell, yeah, will be in the final, of course. Now we've just we've just decided we've just um, learned. Mm -hmm. Right here we're going out. Granda, Granda. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Oh God! <laughs> what do you mean? The, what do you mean? The 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 tournament's over. The tournament's over. <laughs> I'm degrading. I'm degrading. I forgot there was a talking match in, in, in the middle of this. Millions of dollars, millions oh. of dollars. No them, man. They're fucking <laughs> kind of standing. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the guys. Find out. Yeah, yeah. Fucking this, their, their first week got put into the into the entrance video for fight with the double power bomb <laughs> off a <of> top rope. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> holy, 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 holy cap clouds. And and and, and in their first the first night of Forsaken he's like, oh shit, I'm away, oh shit, I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a tag team match up here now and we're hearing Dave that uh just been yeah it's just been announced actually that the winners of this match um will put the one and only tag team into the battlefront match holy crap that's oh, huge oh damn that is a, a massive yeah new dawn against killzone here I mean it's just to touch on Battlefront again Dave I mean I have to apologise as well ladies and gentlemen Can I? <laughs> because uh, for weeks now I have been saying on live broadcasts that our next pay per view was GFW Battlegrounds and of course that was incorrect and I apologise for that misinformation our next pay per view is actually called GFW Battlefront, Dave. Just thought I'd get that in there. Can I, uh, can I get your tickets for Battlefront now, folks? They're not going to last for very much longer. As we mentioned, Dave, on you know at our Super Fight last week, the actual um, tickets were had to be released early because of the success of Hard to Kill. Yeah, the popularity of uh, GFW just now is just on a whole other level. People can't wait for the content, you know. Um, a few months ago now, you know, when we were doing the tour in, well, back in, you know, the Hayes home neck of the woods, um, we, we had the record numbers of people watching our, our, our shows um, online through the over that. It's just it's just great to see that we we have been we've been global. Yeah. 
mean, that's the thing, isn't it? It's, you know, we, we never, we've never had platforms in the past, you know, like we do now. You know, the technology is where it needs to be now for GFW to flourish, and you know that is exactly what is happening now, Dave. Our fan base is growing you know, each and every week. I mean, there's fans that just watch Forsaken. There'll be fans that just watch Fight. And there'll be fans that watch both, you know, and whatever content you tune into, folks. You know, we really appreciate all of your support, of course, and... Yeah, you're absolutely right, Dave. It's never been bigger, it's never been stronger than what it is right now. Here comes these two mammoth individuals here, Kelso. You know, I was looking, you know, at GF Dub dot net and, and, and watching the promos you know, for um, the Conqueror, the Ace of Spades, Dangerous Man, you know, the Face, the Future, Devil, you know, building up even more hype you know, for these two massive competitors. Like, what a platform for them to end it's been years of trying to outdo each other. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. And Dave, I'm just getting... I'm getting word here of an altercation, but... What the hell? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Dave, look at this! There's... Oh my god, Dave, there's... Oh my god, there's a group of... There's a group of about nine or ten individuals here. Oh my is god, it, they've uh, just attacked Killzone and... Is that OCW? Of he's, he's green socks on again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these guys are beating the hell out of these, <clears throat> these, this tag team. The ref's ringing the bell here now. I don't think this match is going to go ahead. What the hell? Oh my god, Dave, look at this on the... the Screen the Titan Tron. There's even more individuals. Oh my God! There's there's multitude of unknown. Who the hell are these guys? They're beating up the talent backstage as well. Oh you fucker! <laughs> 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 oh my God! What the Shit, hell? Is, is it come, Mister Ingrid? Just the back sons or back sons? <laughs> oh my God! What is going on here? They're there's fire, glacier. My God, pandemonium! They're trying to fight these guys off, but there's too many of them. What the hell's going on? Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me! What the hell? That there's the general, Dave. The general's directing traffic here. Oh no! Get him! Pick him up! Pick him up! Get him up! Get him up! Oh my God! Oh, some kind of a neck breaker on the concrete, the glacier. And, oh my god, well, I don't think everyone's here tonight, Dave, that's the thing. I don't think it's only going to be the people that are competing. What the hell is going on? Here comes security now, thank god. Get these guys out of here. What the hell is going on? Killzone and New Dawn are broken messes in the ring. Come on, we need some security out here, damn it. For fuck, for fuck. For god's sake, Dave, what have we just seen? What's going on? This is a bad omen for fighting. Well, I don't feel safe. <laughs> well, you know, you've been saying that for weeks for the Gale. <laughs> what are you saying, son? What are you saying, son? Oh, I can't believe this. And now we've got the, the general and his bow dome rocking around with a small army. Oh, Dave, please don't let it be what I think mm. it's going to be. <laughs> Oh. Green and green and white socks. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! This will be the worst battlefront match you've ever had. <laughs> Came back to match. <laughs> right, well we're have to move on quickly here, folks. Oh, what the hell is? I mean, how could these guys get access to the, the the ring area, the backstage area? Where the hell were security when you need them? Killing them. Protecting our DLC Gale. Dude, <laughs> we've got the prison, son. We've got the prison, son. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. 
I mean, this, now, now that we're, you know, as you can see, the security now are getting these guys out of the building. There's the police now. Thank God. And what the hell is the... What is the general's problem? You know, what is it with the general... Bloody... Leading these... Leading in invasions into these... Oh, I don't know. This is unbelievable. The general's always... Always... Wants to be... The head of... Anarchy. Always. You know, we, we, we we've seen him for weeks, like about Gale and Forsaken, and about how they're, they're running roughshod. You know, the, the biker gang, Gale School of Wrestling, you know, being tied into everything that we do. So it's, it's, it's kind of like he's getting a free pass type thing. But the general's been quiet for months. Yeah, which is has, has, he, has, has he been building this this force? Yeah, recruiting okay. these these potential new wrestlers, you know, as a kind of some version of o OCW. What is it? Well, Dave, we're hearing now is uh, Dante makes his way to the ring here. First time we've seen Dante since the breakup of D and D, and the, the rumours have been confirmed, Dave, that Dante and Damian will will separate and. Uh, on good terms, of course, may I add, but now they're going to be going for some singles. Singles goal here, this is Dante's opportunity. I imagine they have a match between Dante and Mr. 47, the, the form that these two guys have been in lately. I mean, this isn't the first time that Dante and Damien have separated. The first time they separated, it was much more brutal, it was much more intense so maybe this, this is more of an amicable this time it's amicable this time both men but they, they've had their tag title range you know they just want to concentrate on your singles title for a bit and you know why not now's the time to do it like GFW is wide open well Dave this is the first time we've seen Cannon believe it or not if I'm digging through my records here, he's not been seen since the first episode. First televised episode of Fight. And that was months ago. Does Mr. O have an issue with bald people? <laughs> <laughs> he's baldest. <laughs> he, he, he must be baldest. He forgot about 47 and he forgot about this guy. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> that is a Ew, what are you saying, Sam? What are you saying, Sam? You just went in a totally different direction from what I thought you were going to go in there. <laughs> oh, I mean, Cannon Dave has a point, you know. He, when he returned initially, he called himself the Black Sheep because he feels as though he has not been given opportunity. <coughs> So I think what I think Mr. O is looking from from him tonight will be a dominant display against Dante, but you know that's good that's easier said than done, isn't it? Like in Dante, oh. the, the form that Dante is in just now. Let's take a trip back further. Remember when Cannon was um he was your Cornell champion actually. And he got put in a six man battle royal one week. <laughs> and then yeah, an right. eight man battle royal the other week. I remember that, yes. You know, I think Cannon has all the potential in the world. Like, from what I understand, the Hayes were looking to grab him as a wild card that he was picked by Mr. O. So that speaks volumes, at, like, within itself, for the fact that, you know, he's been headhunted by the Hayes syndicate. Yeah. That's right. Well, well, there's two things there, Dave. I mean, one, we should be, you know, honoured that, um, you know, that he's are, are interested in his services. And two, if Mr. O oh, picked him as a wild card, why hasn't he been featured more? There's not been any injury news, from what I understand. So, I mean, I suppose he's back now. Let's see what he can do tonight. I mean, you can't. You know, in fact, we both get paid from you know, the Hayes and the Missiles, so, you know, 
I don't love sticking your slate in. Can I add? <laughs> but I think, Ooh. you know, Mr. O has a lot on his plate, you know, as he, as he behaves, but at least the Hayes have each other, even with the rest of his. As functional as they are, for this three of them, that like Mr. O runs fight and all fight stuff on his own. Like we seen that with the news um, that broke last night about um, him cancelling GFW Arise because he's concentrating on you know making the money to pay off the loans that 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 we had that we, we took out to you know secure this new. Uh, wrestling Empire, so I think he's, it's just a lot to process, you know, like we said, the, the, the pillars have to be in an action for a couple of weeks, you know, like, everything's just kind of changed direction, Can not shouldn't have taken it personally, he will, but he shouldn't. Yeah, well, I think that's the thing, isn't it, it's, um, it's one of those situations where you've just, oh, hold on a the power, what? you've just, you've just got oh. to think, not focus on the negative, you know, and you've got to just, in the current situation, just, you know, I'm here tonight, and that's all that really matters, you know, he's... Oh, hold on. Oh, cool. oh, 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 uh, well, assailants, I suppose you can call them, uh, from, um, hopefully from, you know, the police and security, of course, they're trying to figure out who these guys are, I mean, if you'd ask to leave the premises now, some of them have been really forced off the premises. I mean, Mick, it could, it could be all these, like, all these disgruntled young upstarts that were meant to be debuting on Rise. Yeah, I never mean, thought of that actually. I mean, who knows what the general's got planned, but... And the general's just took the advantage to, you know, grab himself some... Oh. Some firepower. Douglas Falls, dude! Douglas Falls! Oh! Oh, beautiful! Oh, yeah. My god, my god, he's not a small man. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. We're trying to see if we can get, I'm not sure if the information will come to light tonight here, but we're trying to keep it updated folks the best we can. If the information comes to light, but you know, whatever the case is there, I mean, you know, whether it's, I don't think it's fans, I just don't think it's fans, but whoever these guys are, no. why the hell are they the, here tonight? The, the, the shape of these guys, like, there's no way they're what they're fans. I mean, look, 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 look at these mouth breathers. Come on! <laughs> and the general as well, they're out from traffic, you know, that tells you all you need to know. Holy crap! Well, I think Daniel should go back to Damien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, well, I, well, to be fair, Dave, you just mentioned, I think, that's what Cannon needed, but... Oh, that was a dominant display tonight. You see, that's the thing, Dave, isn't it? You know, it, is that what it, it took to get kind of motivated? To keep him off TV? Was that the right thing to do? That's, I don't know, it's... It, 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 it's a gambit, Nick, because you either take them off TV and they become disgruntled to the stage, you know, where they go all CM Punk kind of that, or they do a 47 and a, they do a 47 and um and now a can and they come back and they, they dominate. Yeah. I mean, that's... You're going to have to stop the recording and start again, lad. Well, do you know what, mate? I think I, I think we were, we were on like, I think Twitch for like about fifteen minutes. No, not Twitch. You're recording, unless you stopped recording when you did the tag well, beatdown. I started recording. I think it was. I think I've got about f maybe 15 minutes left. 
Perfect. So you'll they'll have the the heavyweight title main event then a, a separate. Yeah, because it was on Twitch. It was, it was fifteen minutes on Twitch. The timer when I started yeah. recording. So we're at like fifty-seven now. So I'm just gonna, should be able to try and put this one in. It's fine though, because it pops up at the top of the screen. Like you get like you, 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 you get like a countdown. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, right, nice one. So oh, here he comes the um, the black sheep. Thanks for Cannon killing that of the pillars. <laughs> Well, Dave, I think, the th you know, we've... Prince IK has been up and down, hasn't he, as a pillar? He's, I think, probably you can say out of the, out of the pillars, he's probably not shouldered the responsibility as well as the others, but... No, I, 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 I could be blunt, but you're tiptoeing around it. He's been the worst of the pillars. You know, well, he's had his well, moments. Well, <laughs> yeah. He's like I I love I care, but he's had his moments, you know. He did really well in the beginning. He had a had a championship match against Devil. He lost. And then something changed in him. He just didn't do it as well as the other pillars. Yeah, I think he, he might and have lost I, confidence uh, yeah. in that BCWA tournament, yeah. And I, and I think Mr. Oxiston seen this and removed them from TV for a while because he's gave him this responsibility of being a pillar and he's not living up to it so yeah. tonight's an opportunity for him to fix that and join the other pillars in the semi-finals oh, we're just seeing in the top right hand corner of your screen there now. But Mr. O has just pulled up in a limo. What the hell is going on right now? Well, we're going to get... <laughs> we're going to get more on this folks. Uh, oh, Mr. O's not mm. happy. It's, it's, it's the back take from the game. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't even realise that Mr. O wasn't here tonight, but I mean... Yeah, I, I suppose we're just we're just speculating, Dave. You know, we don't know what's going on. I mean, is this a is this all? I would say, you know, that is this the work of System Shock? But well, there, well, there, there there's not 15 members of System of System Shock. You know, that's the thing. So and let's be fair, Nick. System Shock are a bunch of what? <laughs> that's, the, that's the word that came to mind, you know. <laughs> I thought you were going to say misfit. She went right off the fucking rails. Twat, come here. You fucking toy. The monitors. You know. But then again, you could be right here, Nick, because remember, the general is Asterix coming out. He's Virus's manager. Well, yeah, this is the thing, isn't so, it? And so there definitely could be a connection there. Remember there was this um, rumour that the General was looking to open like a management service as well called General Management. I don't know if that actually came to be or not, but you're I right, Dave. I, you hope no, a, I fucking hope no one name like that. Would. You made a valid point, you know, before, Dave, about how... Um, He's not been seen, you know, for the last month or so. No, you know, and you were the one that pointed it out. I actually didn't really notice at first. And you were the one to say, you know, where's the general? Well, we've had virus on TV for like a, a few weeks, of, like especially during Labyrinth. And he always came out by himself, and usually the general's out there throwing the green bomb around, but yeah, it's just been virus by himself. And I think we just thought that, you know, because the stipulations at some of the matches were that no there was that no one allowed at ringside, we just assumed that he was, you know, backstage. Maybe on a support of role somehow, but Does it seem like it's the case? Yeah, I I really don't I don't know dear. I just know that you know, these if Mr. O's driven here, I'm driven here tonight. This is something. I mean, what I don't. What you've got to think about now, Dave, is 
we've already had our field in one match. I mean, could the, the main event be in jeopardy here tonight? Is what I'm wondering. Oh, 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 oh. oh damn. Nobody the Vega, the, the Vega Salted. <laughs> no, I, 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 I personally don't think that they wouldn't be stupid enough to get in the ring with Dangerous Man. Yeah, I'm Devil at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh, look at Devil, this. yeah. Oh, how are they fans? Not the news, Ben. What is them? Oh, kind of spin injuries. <laughs> so I, oh. I care the sailor man. <laughs> and oh, beautiful oh, fishing and suplex. Oh, that might work. Oh, they're all looking to steal one, but oh, and Sunset oh. Kid just pushes key after all. Come on, Sunset Ghost. <laughs> Raul well, did. I mean, how, who could forget the brutality we've seen of Raul? Oh, the revolution when uh, he oh, beat, up a, beat up a blind oh, man. I, mean, I don't know what yeah. they're looking to prove there, by the way. But, I mean, yeah, I could beat up a blind man, come on. Or maybe I couldn't actually. Can I have a word? Well, Nick, you, you couldn't beat up a blind sunset kid. Put it that way. I couldn't beat up a blind man with your hands and your hands. Can I have a word? <laughs> Oh, oh shit, no. <laughs> I'm just really a bit vague. Oh god. <laughs> but uh, but Raul beat up a blind, a, a blind man because Raul was a nasty piece of work. And, and I like him. Come on, <laughs> Well, I, I, I think I guess that is. Well, we're all here. I mean, if he can knock off another pillar, Dave, tonight, I mean, not only would he go through to the semi finals, of course, to face Cannon next week, but. Ah, oh, that's who the other pillar was. That's it, the red. Yes, and Set Kid, of course, um, he's oh, recuperating oh. well, but they'll return at the battlefront. But oh. I'm sure, Dave, that Sunset Kid's going to want a number close to her own so he can beat the hell out of him, I would think. I just have a slash one and two, but. I don't know, 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 I think the fans would actually keep a log, I think they would, I think they would, I think there'd be multiple turtle caves at one time, I guess. Oh, oh this, this, this this cool cool. so classy, isn't it? Uh, and I'm pretty sure when Mr. reaches the backstage overseer position, you'll be yelling down the headset to them. <laughs> you David, oh. can't believe we're almost here. This fight has been one of the quickest fights we've ever gotten through. And, you know, this is a sub main event. The next match is the massive main event. For the I mean, I think, I think after, after 100% I don't know, I think, I think this is the match of it all. Dying to see. Yeah, it's pay per view level, isn't it? Not even pay per view oh, yeah. level. It's, it's like kill the world level. Kill the world level, main event tonight. Another treat for us fans. Oh. And Dave, I just don't know, you know, to touch on it one more time, I don't know what way it's going to go. You know, it's, it's going to be something, though, that's all I can tell you, folks. I'm looking forward to it because it's going to be the end. Of the Labyrinth Championship yeah. Scramble, anyway, you yeah. know, story that we've been telling like for the last month and a half. It's been amazing. It's been probably the best, the best stuff that we've seen yet. I say. Yeah, I, I would agree with that, Dave. You know, it's oh, yeah, it's been nothing we are looking into fantastic. Oh. Prince didn't get all of that there, but he almost got enough to almost put my all away, but not quite. Not a match here. Both of these guys are high flyers, got their own styles. Prince here, it's over. 
and then and then there's that move. What the hell? What the hell? You're, you're getting off here. I think we can finally. One thing we can do after tonight is we can finally draw a line under it. You know, we can move on to Battlefront. You know, knowing who our GFW champion is. Holy crap! Yeah. Please put it all on the line there. Oh, at, least we, at least he jumped out of the ring, he actually had me. That connected hard. I only just for it to get inside the ring, but. Oh, hold on, where are we now? Yeah. Oh. Modifies it into a power slam, is it? No. What the hell? What the hell? That was the fucking. Was that not the, the bloody. Uh, the Aurora The um, Last Light Woods. Oh yeah, the Aurora, that's it, yeah. I modified the Aurora there. She's fucking ding 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 She fucking punch all the ring. Get the weapon! Get the weapon! <laughs> it's like Russian it's tanks. 47. Half, half, half the mask crew. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, 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 nice. oh, 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 god. It's not just a buzz with it then. Oh. And oh, into the backbreaker. Strange mm -hmm. Oh, hold on here now. Oh, that was brutal. Breath. Checking on. Oh. I think I care, I'm going to retire. I'm going to retire. Fucking <laughs> destroyed motion. Oh, God. Oh, oh. On, oh, we know what's coming next here. Oh. Jump to the gut. And oh. Cartwheel. Oh. Ah. Cartwheel. Yes. Oh. A tumble on DDT. I know. One. Two. Oh. Oh, there is my girl not top himself here. I'm going to try and get him. I'm going to try and get him. I'm going to try and get him. Big assault! Oh, oh counter! Damn! Yeah. Oh, Spanish fly right out of Cool Classics book. Beautiful! Big assault! Thanks to the air, but oh no! Damn! Oh, I see that. That, the impact of that moonsault there. Yeah. Hurt him enough for him not to go for the pinfall straight away. I think that'll cost him that one second. I ain't getting the hook the leg here. Oh, damn it, man. What a match this is. This is a submarine event, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. And this is GFW Championship match is coming up next. Oh, and Prince Man! This flash! I'm going to the cover! My god! Oh, Prince with him. Big win here tonight. I think Prince needed that kind of like cannon. Yeah. Get back and miss all those good races as a pillar. Right, now I'm just going to go on to part two. Alright, but like you said, like the Twitch will still be running. It'll just be your actual recording that'll stop. Yeah. Yeah, that was a hard-fought match for Prince there, but he's done well to get to the next round, and there we have it, folks. Our semi-finals are in place. Ace Damn. and Connell and Cannon and Ayakea and Dave Cannon's returned tonight and showed form, the same form as the Pillars here. This is huge for him. Massive. Right, here we go buddy, let's be one sec.